Eddie Davidson played at Orange. Never quite saw a state championship in his time when he played at Orange, but today he coached the Panthers to its first state softball championship. And Eddie, as for the game itself today, Abby Hamlet, another multiple hit game for her. She finishes her career with 15 in her senior season. What can you say about her? Man, she's done it all year. I was just telling the mother guys over there that um, she was really the key that brought it all together this year. When she came to me before practice one day and said, Coach, I'll move to short. Um, I think we just, I can cover me, me as throws and all that, and, I'll move it, and I want to move to short. I said, let's do it. And then, uh, you know, um, we just figured it out from there. But she's been clutch and she's big all year. She makes adjustments. She's been a great leader. My captains, man, all three of my captains and my seniors, mm -hmm. they're all about the team. They got the younger guys to buy in all year, and it just all came together. But like I said, them three captains did something for us to win this weekend, be it be yesterday or today. And then you throw them freshmen and sophomores and juniors in there. Uh, like I said, I can't forget to mention J.J. Hurdles. Mm -hmm. And I did an interview with J.J. early in the year, and she was really hitting good over 500. And this is what I told him. I was like, um, I'm not. I, I'm still got got it got it out on her because I want to see how she does against the great pitching. Yeah. Well, I think everybody's seen she did damn good against some great pitching. Yeah. Uh, as a freshman, she adjusted. Her maturity level went up. She did everything right, and I'm expecting big things for her the year to come. And I'm gonna tell you right now, she keeps working where she's at. She's a D1 ball player. But I just want to kind of end on this right here, Christina Gibbons, man. You know what I mean? That's more heart than any kid I got. She's the best pitcher in 3A ball. Yeah. Because what a lot of people don't understand, pitching ain't hey, only about step. throwing hard, throwing the right pitches. It's about enduring, uh, persevering, and overcoming. And she did that for us all year. She was feeling bad the last three innings out there. And she went out there and pitched her guts out and got us the victory. Man. So, was she just feeling the heat? Was that part yeah, of it? Yeah, I think it was the heat and the nerves. She felt like she was going to throw up and all that. So we just kept giving a cold towel on her, get water in her. And um, she came through for us like she always does in the defense, man. What can I say about the defense? That that play at first, man, she was out. Yeah. You know, JJ did not come off that bag. That was a that was a daggum all American stretch right there. Right. Um, but hey, man, we overcame. We just pushed yeah. it to the side. I fussed. I, I fussed about it. We pushed it to the side, and then we went from there. So. I know, as a father, this is bittersweet for you because this is the last time you will ever coach your daughter right. in a game. Unless she plays professionally somewhere, you wind up with her. But what, what emotions are going forward? Man, it ain't, hit, it ain't hit me yet. I mean, it really hit me with Montana last year, you know, about a week or so later. But it ain't hit me with her. But I can tell you this right now, man. Um, I'm glad I got to coach her in high school. I'm ready for uh, Coach Studeman at Mississippi State to get her in there and uh, get them ready to go. I've known you since sixth grade. You were a world traveler as a young man. You were a nomad. You went all the way to Germany. Right. You were born in Texas. Right. You pitched your anchor in Hillsboro, and you stayed here ever since. How much pride do you feel delivering a state softball championship? Man, when I got the job, and when I got when they gave me the job and I interviewed, this is what I told them. I said I played here, and I want to be able, I want to be a part of making something great. And by all means, it wasn't me just being coaching. It's when I brought when I kept Tan when I kept Tanya, I brought Amber in. That's like I said, she's she's ridiculous how good she is with the pitchers. And then and, and the missing key is I brought Henry Horn in this year. He shortened these girls up. He, he believed in them. He worked his butt off. He did everything to get them where they could. And not last but least, we brought Olivia and Renika in. Olivia came in. She keeps the girls hype. She just keeps them upbeat all the time. And Renika came in and took her JV program and busted her butt. So my coaching staff is why we here. So. Eddie, Thank great you, job, Jeff. Thank you, Thank you. Take care.